thousands of people to this campus for college signing day. I'm Catalina Villegas from UCLA and I'll introduce you to a young Vietnamese woman, the first in her family to go to college. Music. Up the stage at UCLA's college signing day. But the work really started years ago. First generation immigrant Lena Nguyen was inspired by a teacher to go to college back in the fifth grade. Just being offered this opportunity to pursue a higher education is basically a dream come true. I am a single child too, I'm a little only child, so my parents are really looking for me to be able to pay way for a new, uh, newer and brighter future for myself. She committed to UCLA weeks ago, expects to graduate with a degree in psychology, and hopes to get a graduate degree after that. As a minority, we always like advocate for higher education, and a higher education means a great opportunity and a better life. A message echoed by the event's headliner, former First Lady Michelle Obama. Personally, you are about to make the best investment that you can possibly make. A four-year education has become more critical than ever, with graduates earning a million dollars more over their lifetime than a person with a high school diploma. And reports suggest education is still the surest path out of poverty. And that's true whether you're going to a trade school, or to the military, or to a community college, or to a four-year university. Now that they've made it to college, the biggest challenge is trying to find a way to pay for it. Student loans are now a $1.5 trillion crisis, the second biggest debt category only behind emergents. Lena got a scholarship in the biggest financial aid package available. She says she's ready to start classes. I'm just really proud of myself to even get this far, just being able to attend a school such as UCLA. It is a huge honor on my this, my four years in high school. I'm really proud of myself. For now, she'll make her way back to Orange County, but come this fall, she'll be walking this very campus as a freshman. <laughs> Oh, we'll be